Hey scrappers, who's here? Alright, so tonight we're going to be scrapping a large electric motor. One of these things. This came out of a dishwasher. Um, the ones you're going to find like washing machines, clothes dryers, that kind of stuff. Be a little bit bigger, but basically the same. Um, you're going to have um, usually either steel or cast aluminum on both sides. You're going to have a piece of iron in the middle um, and your copper wire spooled in there. Sorry uh, about the sniffles and, and the noise. It, it's winter here in Maine. We're getting hit by um, winter storm. This sucks right now. Um, supposed to get up to uh, two feet of snow. So, I got the hat on, heaters on. Sorry about the noise. I'll try and speak louder. All right. So, first thing you want to do is when you get one of these motors, you want to take a, a screwdriver or something. You want to find that copper right there and you want to scratch it. Scratch away any enamel that's on there so you can see the metal underneath. Uh, you probably can't see that on there but it looks copper. If it looks white, it's aluminum. Uh, in that case, just throw it back in your copper bearing motor pile and sell it as that. Uh, you'll, you'll make more money that way. <coughs> Alright, so when you're scrapping one of these things you want to uh, you know, eyeball it real quick. Uh, try and see where where things are. You don't want to spend a whole lot of time you know, trying to figure out how to get into one of these things. They're all a little bit different. Uh, this one has screws going all the way around, which should release the bulk of it. And it looks like this wheel right here is kind of grooved, so we can probably unscrew that and take this black plastic piece off. Um, so let's get started. All right. So it looks like we've got a Torx bit. I'm just going to take off the screw. I've already taken off one of the other three. So we've got cast aluminum. You're going to want to make sure you look inside there. There's usually going to be um, a little bushing or something. Uh, sometimes it's ferrous, sometimes it's brass. This one, ferrous. Alright, now we look in here. And it looks like if we can get this piece off, we should be able to get the rest. There you go, smack it, and that comes right off. Alright, so what you've got here is a big chunk of cast aluminum, and you're going to have some other aluminum in here, but there's going to be some ferrous material in there. So, so you got your big chunk of iron and aluminum here, and you've got the cast aluminum from the back side. And you have this, which is a um, big copper bearing motor. Now, with this thing, the uh, I have, I believe I have another video on it. The um, best way to get this copper out is uh, use an angle grinder or a sawzall and cut all the way around. I'm going to cut all the way around here and then this side will pry right out. So, you got your sawzall here. This is a Craftsman cordless sawzall. Do not recommend getting this. This is uh, not a very good saw. But anyway, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to slice down right down the side here. So, as you can see, I made it through the first chunk there. Got this part over here, which is you know nice copper. Just gonna get that string off, and you'll have 
or you can leave it on, it's number two copper because it's got that enamel on it. All right, so, and you can see here you've got, um, now you've got the motor with half of it like cleaned off, all right? So when you stick it back in your vise, all you gotta do is get a screwdriver or something, get it in there, and go through each hole and pull, and all the copper comes right out. It's pretty easy. And there you go. So you got your nice heavy piece of copper. and you've got a heavy chunk of steel. All right, so that's it for one of the uh, larger copper bearing motors. Pretty easy to take apart. Takes like five minutes maybe. Um, so there you have it. It's definitely worth taking apart the larger ones. Um, there's lots of good copper in there. All right, so if you found this video helpful to you, Go ahead and return the favor, help me out, comment, like, subscribe, it's free. You know, there should be a little button right down here. Um, and then you can comment right down there. And you can like right down there. Uh, so make sure you do that. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.